I open up this PR today from the most junior member of our team. And I see that this new engineer on the team has essentially duplicated all of this code. Why are we duplicating code? Okay. Why are we using the functions that already exist in the code base and, and, and doing less, not more? See, that's, that's the thing about junior engineers. They'll receive their first project and disappear for days to weeks and then work super hard in isolation, not talking to anyone, re refusing to ask for help or to lean on the valuable experience of the tenured members of their team and stress themselves out writing all this insanely convoluted, overly optimized, overly engineered code with like just redundant helper functions and nested if statements and just complete garbage. And then after this dark period of time, they'll, they'll come out of their hole with their back looking like a chair, dump this gigantic monster 500 to 1000 line code PR on me, the tech lead uh, for review. And it's like, okay, why are you spending days alone writing this PR? I, I, I don't even know whatever you're doing at this point, but whatever you're doing is, is wrong. Ask me for help. Ask the senior engineer for help. Do, do not spend days at a time alone with your code solving like these small meaningless puzzles in your head because what's going to happen is you're going to write this monster PR that is redundant, terrible, garbage code. You're going to dump it on me and then I'm going to tell you to rewrite it. And then what's going to happen? You're going to be sad, okay? You're going to be sad. You're going to be mad at me. You're going to be unhappy because you spent all that time working on code that's never going to get into the main branch ever, 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 ever. And you know, you're going to get frustrated and probably talk bad about me on blind. Just save everyone's time. Save your time. Save my time. Save everyone's time. Do your best for a day at most, okay? And if you don't have 100, 200 good lines of code up, by that point, ask for help. Go to someone on your team. Go to the more senior person on your team and say, hey, this is what I've got so far. This is what I'm thinking. This is the approach that I'm trying to take. What are your thoughts, et cetera. And we'll tell you, we will tell you exactly what we're thinking. We'll probably give you the answer because we see that you tried really hard and you know, it's just, maybe you're just off by that much or whatever. And we'll just give you the answer and then you can code that up and we'll give you a, an approval because you know, we told you what to do. So obviously we're going to approve that. Now that I've gotten older and senior and I don't actually have to jump up and down anymore for performance reviews. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of happily settled in on my little career perch. I review PRs like this and sometimes I try to give, um, you know, this engineer as much feedback as possible, but in general, I'm not going to waste my time. Like if I see a gigantic PR and I'm scrolling through it and like 30% of it isn't working out, I'm requesting changes. Okay. So when you're new and you're joining a team and you're junior and you're trying to work on some change and you don't really know what you're doing, the last thing that you want to do is spend days writing some large code change that is letting every single person on the team know that you don't know what you're doing. Take the easy way out. Keep your code changes small. Use stacked PRs. Um, you know, force people on your team to review your code early and often. Uh, probably that's, that's, that's going to be the number one piece of advice I have. Just, just general advice I have, you know, in the actual software engineering job is to keep your code changes small. If you have, you know, not a clear idea of how you want to actually make your code change, get some pen and paper, think about what you're trying to do, try to figure out if you can break it down into small chunks. All right. Or just look through the code, start looking through the code, see if you can get a couple entry points for how you want to start making your changes. If you can mock out that approach. Uh, you don't even necessarily need to add like a bunch of logic or anything like that, but maybe add some initial functions, place them in places that you you're thinking about calling them. It doesn't even have to compile. Right. But just have a, a local branch with this and then push it up and then, you know, jump in a huddle with someone on your team, jump in like a one-on-one -on -one with someone on your team who's more senior, uh, or just open up a PR on GitHub and make sure that's a draft PR and P tell someone on your team, make it clear. Hey, this is just some initial approach. I'm just asking for some feedback. Um, this is why I don't have tests or whatever, but I'm just trying to get your thoughts. It might even be helpful to write like a quick little one pager, uh, with all your thoughts of how you're thinking about it, kind of the research that you've done so far. And then, you know, send that out to someone on your team for some feedback and just make sure that it only takes you, you know, less than a day to, to write all that, to ensure that you're getting that quick and efficient 
productivity when it comes to your software engineering workflow. This is like the easiest and like most efficient way that a young software engineer can really level themselves up. Because if you keep on doing this, if you keep on, you know, writing small changes, asking your team for feedback, you know, creating draft PRs, making these small little one pagers and sending them out to your team for some review, um, you're going to get so much feedback. And over time, that feedback is, it, like, you have no choice but to grow as long as you're respecting that feedback and applying that feedback. It's just going to become second nature. All the things that these senior engineers are telling you are just going to become second nature. And you're going to watch yourself literally skyrocket in terms of your ability to command the code in the code base that you're working in. It'll also give the impression that you're really productive and that you're on your way to dominating the code base, even though you're essentially asking for feedback and getting people to tell you what to do at almost every single step. Another thing that I see that junior engineers do that just annoys the crap out of me is they'll also spend literally days debugging simple issues. Why are you spending days debugging a simple issue? Spend 30 minutes tops trying to debug a problem. Okay. Try to gather as much information as you can about that problem. And once that 30 minutes is up, ask someone on your team. Post in, in, in the Slack channel, okay? Say, hey, I'm debugging this problem. These are the things that I've seen so far. This is the work that I've done so far. This is the result that I'm getting. Does anyone have anything that I'm missing? What do you all think? Can I get some help? Tag the tech lead or something to, to put the pressure on them to actually respond. I guarantee you, they're gonna help you, all right? They're, they're gonna feel obligated to help you because it looks good for them from a performance standpoint. And most likely they'll probably know the answer in like five minutes when, you know, it would have taken you hours and hours, if not a day or multiple days to figure out the same problem. Just some general advice about junior engineers. You guys are crushing it though. Keep going. We love you all, but it's not my fault that you went down some weird code rabbit hole that's going to break the entire system and I can't let it through. Okay. That's, that's not, that's not a me problem. Okay. That's a you problem. It's okay. You could do better though. You can fix that. I'm gonna help you fix that. Make sure you're asking for feedback early. Ask for help. Write down notes. Anytime you get help, Sa save those little tidbits that the senior engineers give you that allow you to be able to solve a problem in five minutes instead of five days. You're going to learn. You're going to grow. I promise you that. Just keep on going. Like and subscribe if you thought this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.